Right, very good morning, folks. Yep, yeah, here we are. Now, I know it's hard to believe, folks. I know this is really, really going to be difficult to understand and believe, but some people don't like me. I know I've seen them all, you know, all these, these my detractors. I've seen them all thinking, who is, who does he think he is swanning around the area? They look at them with his shades and his long hair. Who does he think he is? Well, I know I've seen them and I know, I know who they are and I've, I don't care, you know. And I've, I've had some dislikes on these, on some of these videos, just going through them. Just recently, there was one with five dislikes, man. Okay, that was the England thing. That's fair enough. That was me playing my ukulele and singing about England. I can understand people disliking that. But uh, there's been one dislike on a few of the videos, so I think there is a there must be a troll kind of thing sneaking around. Yeah, remember we had trouble with trolls before? Right, anyway, so yes, yeah, so unfortunately some people just don't seem to, to get me. They just don't seem to understand that, you know, I'm a nice chap and, you know, I'm not, I'm not into all this. Whatever it is they think I am, I'm not, man. Anyway, so there we go. Right. And I'll tell you what, when, pe when most people, even though th some people think I'm an asshole, right, but when they get to know me, they think, oh, he's not too bad after all. So, you know, folks, there you go. I know. Right, anyway, here we go. We're at work. <sighs> We're going in. Here I am sitting watching um, Wimbledon. Been kind of getting into the tennis recently, man. Uh, it's been really good. This guy, Kevin Anderson, he beat Federer. He beat Federer. Now I'm a big fan of Federer. Um, well, I mean, I'm not a massive, huge, I don't adore him. I don't have posters or anything, you know, but uh, I quite like his his attitude and things. He's good. But this guy, Kevin Anderson, actually beat Federer. So I hope he's. Uh, I hope he goes far. He's, he's two sets to one down against. Orders them seven for the set now. This is it. Come on, can he do it to make it two sets all? The game of these, I know it's all power serving and stuff, isn't it? So, uh, and this is no, he's about seven feet tall or something. So, come on, can, I, can he do it? Here he goes. This is it. Oh no, he's not done. Oh dear. These games do tend to go on quite a bit now. Right, folks. Now I was talking to uh, to my to my mate John at work, and he was going about doing the heavy metal version of the Walking Fast tune. So I said I would do one as well. So we've got kind of best on to see who can do the best Walking Fast heavy metal version. So mine's going to go kind of like this kind of. Um, I thought it's in B flat, but you can do it in other keys, I suppose. But so mine's going to kind of go like this. At least Rosie can't come in and tell me to keep the noise down because it's only half past four or something. Yes, yeah, so 
It's mine's going to go somewhere like that anyway, folks. Well, folks, it's a complete disaster. I didn't realise what the time was. It's half past five, so I've got to get back to work. So I've got something to eat. I've got a macaroni pie and a ham sandwich. Um, I was just, just getting into the riff. Where's my car? There it is over there. Um, I was just getting into doing the, the heavy metal riff. What I'd actually done was I'd slowed it down um, a few beats and made it sort of more, more rocky rather than heavy metal because it was just sounded exactly the same as the, um, the punk one I did with, with Frank and that. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get that. I'm going to have to do it tonight when I get in, though. So I didn't realize what the time was. What a disaster. All right, folks, here I'm at work. Well, you just can't leave things alone, can you? I left my charger here at work. Now, I had this on. It said Jags. Just Jags. But I had a little... A little England flag down there. Just, just do a little flag thing. And look, somebody's gone and rubbed it off. Honestly, see these people. In here, man. Honestly. Might as well rub my name off my badge. Just be Mr. Anonymous. Yeah, Mr. Anonymous. Actually, what I could do is just, instead of having the Mecca sign, I could just have me. I am, I am me. I don't need no badges. Badges, badges. We don't need no Fucking badges. We're civilised. We're sissified. I don't need to be a savage. Walked up to me and made the sign of the cross and said, Jack Betty, you're a real dead loss. Right, folks, here we are down the back of Shroom Alley. I haven't been down here for yonks, man. I haven't been down here for ages. So here's it, it's still here folks. Look. What what's two what's two guys up here? What are they up to? Let's see what they're doing. There was, there was three young guys around there and they were they were smoking a spliff. So I said to them, look, so look guys, I'm looking again. They kind of looked like they were, they were panicking when they saw me, but I said, look guys, okay, I'm, I'm not getting you into trouble. It's alright, just stay there. I'm just coming out for a stroll, just you stay there and smoke your spliff. I said, it smells good. And they kind of laughed, I went, oh, alright, okay. So um, I'm not going to get them. I'm not going to chase them. They're doing no harm out the back there, man. Just standing, smoking a spliff. Felt like asking them for a toke myself, actually. <laughs> anyway, so that was a, a little blast of shroom alley, folks. There we go. and get uh, what I think is probably the best the best doner kebab in uh, in this area anyway so it's Carnes just over the road there I'm going to have a go and get a kebab okay, there it is Carnes there it is folks folks oh yes lovely have become comfortably numb can you go and come on David come on Folks, it's Rosie enjoying comfortably now. <laughs> 